enhance the memory by various ways this could be mnemonics so what could be good mnemonics that we could think of it could be a image and a keyword let's say you want a child to remember what is cow you can show a picture of the cow and ask the student to remember it so that is image and keyword method that is adopted the next is methods for organization which could be in the form of chunking or the first letter technique chunking what does it imply Chunking implies that there is group of words that I say 1900180011140. So what I'm trying to do is I can break this into groups of four 1900110. So what I'm trying to do is I am trying to chunk those, group those into smaller things and then remember those. First letter technique is very good example is when you try to remember the colors of the rainbow. Whip gear. So violet, indigo, blue green yellow orange and red so first letter of each of the colors so v for violet i for indigo b for blue and so on so this is what is the first letter technique the next is uh, uh, the keyword method whatever you are trying to do you are trying to bring in the most important thing out of it and understand this for example specifically when you are learning foreign languages you are trying to rote memorize but if you have some keyword associations then it becomes much easy to remember and memorize the next is method of loci method of loci means you are trying to put things into a serial order so let's say i want to go out for uh, shopping today and i want to bring in the household things i have created a list of the items when i go into the market i remind myself okay for the kitchen i need these items for the household appliances i need these items and so on and so forth so there is a kind of serial processing i move from one room of my house to another place in my house and see what all requirements are there and based on that i bring in all my shopping list or i complete the shopping list the next is uh, understanding why these mnemonics are actually beneficial mnemonics helps in deep level processing so when you are doing a deep level processing there is minimum interference which can be because of the similar content being created by someone else and there is retrieval cues which is given by pqrst so that's a very good mnemonic again to remember p for preview where you try to familiarize yourself with the existing content and you have a kind of quick overview of that. Q for questions that you raise, R for reading the lessons, S for self recitation of the lessons and T for testing yourselves. So that is where you have PQRST which is very very important basis or the benefits of mnemonics understanding the retrieval clues. So that was a very important and a basic fundamental on memory and forgetting. We will be covering many more lectures. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.